What's up everyone? It's your girl Shay here and welcome to my channel. If you are new and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. And as you can see by the title of today's video, well, whatever I decide to title this actually, I'm going to be talking about Weiboos. And before you click this off, I'll explain why. So I put out on my Twitter a poll of three different options that I had for video options that I wanted to come out with or that I want to do a video on. And the one you guys chose was about me doing story times of the moments where I was at my most cringiest Weibo stage. Now the other two options that I do have, I am going to make videos about them in the future, which is going to be on me critiquing anime wedding decor as well as me researching mature mangas that I think I want to read. So getting into the whole Weibo situation. Now this is my first ever kind of like story time video, so let me know if you got, want more of these in the future. But the reason why I'm doing this video is because I thought it would be kind of cool for me to talk about some of these moments. Now let me first explain what a Weibo actually is, and I actually have the definition pulled up right here on my phone. So uh, the definition that I was able to find is a weibu is a mostly derogatory slang term for a western person who is obsessed with Japanese culture, especially anime, often regarding it as superior to all cultures. Now I will say, like I said, I went through this stage. The years I went through this stage was I believe like 2009, 2010, maybe even going into 2011. Now the only reason why I remember these moments is because it was during the time that I was at like my peak anime stage. This was when at the time I had discovered anime beyond anime that I had watched as a kid and I had spent the entire summer after my first year of college watching nothing but anime. That's literally all that I watched the entire T of the summer. Now I do want to say I think that everyone has gone through a Weibo stage but some of us just don't want to admit it and I have no shame in admitting, <laughs> admitting that I had a Weibo stage. But to be honest I didn't know I had one until I looked back and realized that I was a Weibo. So let's get into uh, at least two moments that I can think of where like I was cringy. Yeah. Now I will say when it comes to my Weibo stages, I wasn't exactly the one that thought it was superior to all cultures, but I was definitely someone that uh, used Japanese terms outside in public thinking that I really knew Japanese when I obviously didn't. And to this day, I still don't. So one moment I can remember in particular was I actually went to a sushi restaurant with my mom and my mom's boyfriend. We decided to go because he was very interested in wanting to go check out this new place and I was all for it. Now to be honest with you, when it comes to sushi, I'm not the biggest fan of like raw fish, but I can usually find something that I want to eat, which is usually an avocado roll, which to this day is still my go-to uh, sushi order. Now I don't want y'all in my comments talking about that's not real sushi. I know it's not. Just let me live, okay? But anyway, I remember the lady came up to our table and we ordered and my uh, my mom's boyfriend decided to say domo you know to her i think as she left and i decided to correct him correct him like i knew japanese i was like oh no you say this and i think i said like you say like arigato or someone something i have no idea i don't remember what i actually said to him but all i remember is the look on his face was like are you are you serious and in my mind i was like yes I know Japanese because I watch nothing but subtitle on anime all the time. <laughs> but in reality, I was like, I don't know Japanese. What was I doing? All I know is I look back on that moment. I was like, that was so cringy. Another moment I can remember in particular was actually with my uh, a few of my friends from college. And we were walking around downtown. We decided to stop into a couple of shops. We decided to, you know, just look around. I believe we were trying to get something to eat. There were like a lot of food trucks out. And my friend said something and I, under my breath, said, Baka, which many of you guys know means like idiot or, or something like that in Japanese. And I know that in Spanish, it also means something as well. And I said that and I was like to my friends like, that means idiot in Japanese. Because my friend was like, why did you call me? I think like in like Spanish, I want to say it means like cow or something. I might be incorrect. Once again, I barely know Spanish and I took Spanish for like, three years in high school. But anyway, I tried to use those Japanese terms so often in public because I really thought it was cool. It was not. It just made it extremely, extremely cringy. And don't even get me started on the outfits. At one point, I was obsessed with Fruits Basket and how Toru Honda would wear her hair in those two pigtails, but the pigtails went to like 
the like scrunchie went to like here so i remember in particular i was going to to church for like a youth uh a youth program or like youth service or something like that and i remember i put those two pigtails in my hair my hair was not even that long and i put the rubber band in the middle of my pigtail thinking that i was like hot shit and i wasn't and i look back on that and i was like that was like peak peak cringe i was like dang like yeah i shouldn't have done that and i just think about the lot of ways that i kind of acted and I really did try to act like wearing anime attire was all that I wanted to wear. I was obsessed with this bleach shirt that I had that had Kisuke Udahara on it and I wore it all the time. Like I wore it with leggings. I also remember having this hat that I wore which had, it was an Inuyasha beanie and it had two of his little ears on the top. Yeah, I remember I used to wear that hat all the time in public and I didn't care. Or I will say that like peak Wei Boucher was like, you know, kind of confident, but I look back on it and it was entirely cringy. Like I said, like these were my cringiest moments as a Wei Bu. Now I do needlessly, needlessly, I do want to say that I did get out of my Wei Bu stage. I don't know how. I think it just happened over time. I think because I got interested in other stuff or something like that. But I also didn't realize that I was in a Weibo stage. I didn't realize that I was in a Weibo stage until I came across a Reddit thread or at least a Reddit group that was like called Weibo Tales. And I was reading about some of these people and I was like, oh, this was me. Oh, this was me. And I cringe. I think about those moments and I still cringe to this day about just how much of a Weibo I was. But like I said, I think everyone goes through a Weibo stage. I think it's just a part of the whole like being an anime fan that everyone goes through certain stages as in the fandom. And I think Weibo is one of them. Some people get out of it sooner. Some people get out of it later. Some people start in it earlier. Some people start in it later. It just kind of just depends. But honestly, I can say to this day and how I feel about it is that I am not ashamed of my Weibo days. I think they shaped me into where I am now. And yeah, that was basically what I wanted to do for this video. I apologize with it being kind of on the short side or actually very much on the short side. But I also do want to say that what are some of your like Weibo-ist moments? weibo is probably also not a word. But what is your weibo moments? moment? What is your, 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 uh, what are some stories that you have about you being a Weibo that you kind of cringe about? Or what about, is there any friends that you know was a Weibo? I don't think I have any friends that were really Weibo's now that I think about it. I think it was just me. I was alone. Anyone I know that's into anime now has been now once I was outside of that Weibo stage, but I don't think I had any friends that were a Weibo with me. Yeah, I was alone. It was, I was on my own island. I was by myself. But yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Um, I have links below to my social media accounts. I have an Instagram, a Twitter, and a blog. So please check me out on there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. And let me know what you guys like and what you guys don't like. And also, of course, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like I always tell you guys, stay positive, stay nerdy. In today's day and age, stay healthy. And of course, please stay safe. All right, you guys. Bye.